everybody welcome back to my channel it's Andrea and today I have my first update for the 50 shades of green project pan before I start the update I just want to say a humongous thank you to everybody who subscribed and finally pushed me over that 500 subscriber mark I was it was like the best surprise to wake up to the other day and go check my YouTube account and see like 15 extra subscribers and then you all just kept on subscribing and I just I cannot thank Cece enough who by the way is also one of the creators of this project along with Jessica and Amanda but she she posted it about my channel in the Fantastic Ladies and that's what pushed me over the over that little hump but Danny and Misty and Ruth and Courtney and Jen and just Everybody else who has ever, I have hair on me. <laughs> okay, my husband is at the store and he had a question. So I kind of forgot where I was, but I think I was saying just like, thank you to anyone who has ever promoted. Promoted sounds like such a weird word, but I mean, that's basically recommended. Anyone who, who has ever recommended others to check out my channel. I truly, I appreciate every subscriber. Like, I know that sounds kind of like everybody says that, but it's really true. Like, I know I've been super horrible at answering comments, but I, I love it. Like, I love getting comments. I like responding, maybe not in a timely fashion, but I like responding. And if you are a new subscriber, I hope you, like, actually enjoy the content that I put out. So, with all that being said, I will get into the actual update now. So... As I said, this is a project that was created by CC, who I believe I have everybody's channels linked down below, but I will extra make sure that CC's channel is linked because I know her channel name has changed. She's now the Diva Next Door or something along those lines. And I don't know if I had her channel up or not. So there will be stuff in the description box. But anyway, CC, Jessica, and Amanda created this for the Fantastic Ladies. This is the third year, I believe, because I think pink, pink was two years ago, and that was the first one. Last year was purple, and then this year everybody, or the majority, chose green. So we're doing 50 green products. It can be however you can relate the color green to anything you have. Hair, makeup, skin. I have candles in here. Like, whatever you can do to get to 50. I'm obviously not going to talk about all 50 products because I did not touch all 50 products and what is the point in updating you on a product that I haven't touched. I actually have, I have one and a half empties. I'll say it that way. The first empty is this based invigorating body lotion in mint. This is my half empty because I have two of these minis and they're counting as like one item. So I still have another one of these to get through, but, but this only took me... I used this one seven times and I only, I really only lotion my legs. Like I just, I don't like to put lotion all over my body. Legs are fine. So I used this seven times on my legs. I'm pretty sure that it would be no problem for me to get the other one finished this coming month and have it, this product rolled out or this item rolled out of the project for next update. So that is done. I actually really kind of like this. It was, it's mint and it's like, like I put it on my legs but it, it was very like tingly and cooling and it's not something I've ever had in a lotion before, but I actually didn't mind it. It was pretty nice. So that one is done. And then my other empty is I just had this little mini green tea plus vitamin E cleansing balm from AOA. I got, let's see, I got, I actually got nine uses out of this. I really, I use my cellar water to remove most of my eye makeup and then I go in with the cleansing balm. So I really don't. I don't use like a ton a ton but there, it was nice it had a very like light pleasant smell because of the green tea and I know that I've heard that this is kind of hard to get sometimes because it's so popular but given how ex like inexpensive it is like this little one was a dollar something I think the full size ones are maybe around eight or nine dollars when you compare it with the Pharmacy Green Clean, which is what, like 32 or 34? If this is available on the, a, the Shop Miss A website, I will definitely repurchase it because I didn't really see much of a difference and it was nice. 
So those are my two empties. And then I've got, I've got a fair few products to update you on, but like I said, nowhere near the entire list. So let's just, I'm going to start from the top and go down. So the first I've been working on this candle from Chesapeake Bay Candle in the scent Cactus Pear. And I, as you can see, I've burned about half of it. It's a really like, it's just a very fresh, not clean, but like a fresh, I suck at describing scents. I don't know. It's, it's fresh. It's not too heavy. It's not too like florally. It's not too sweet. It's just very light. And I obviously don't trim my wicks, but <laughs> as you can see from how black this is, but this is how much it is, is left. It looks a little bit messy because I don't, I think I had burned it one time before I brought it into the project and I didn't, it didn't burn like the complete top layer of wax away like you're supposed to do before you extinguish it. And so I've kind of got like this little, this little center of wax that keeps melting. So I have to keep like scraping the sides and pushing it down so that all of the wax can get melted. And so that it, it looks a little janky on the inside, but that's okay. I think, I don't think I'll have a problem finishing this candle up for next month. And then I will start on another one because I have five in this project but that is the only candle that I have started. Then I didn't mark it at the beginning and I should have, but whatever. I have this super duper, extremely old <laughs> foot repair cream from Hoof Spa, I guess. I don't know. Experiment Eucalyptus. Whoops, that's not the side. So I've used it four times and I don't think every use, but I think like at least half of the uses was I did my feet and then I did Maddie's feet as well. So, but I, I know it wasn't full to the top. I, I wanna say it was like maybe around here because there was like a pretty significant air bubble in here. I mean, it's gonna get finished. I'm not worried about it. It's just not something that I think about doing a whole lot. So it's gonna be in for a while. Next, I just have this little tiny travel size, mini, whatever. This is an Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I just use this as a hand cream. I've only used it four times, but there's not there's not a lot in here because this is only a one fluid ounce little bottle. So this will probably take me a couple months because I don't use hand cream as much as I should, but I'm also not worried about that being gone. Next, I have my Bath & Body Works Pear Blossom Shower Gel, which is down it's I didn't mark it but it was brand new so it was like right at the lip I guess and I've used it eight times and I am down to here I I would have more use on that but I have so many bath products in various projects at the moment and a lot of them are like scrubs and stuff that I'm trying to use up so it's just That'll get done, but it's gonna be a little slow moving, but it's fine. Then I have my CVS Eucalyptus and Peppermint Bath Salts. I use these in my um, foot tub. This is an approximate mark because I can't get them to be flat and even, but I've used them three times and I'm down to here. I have, I have a little scooper from one of my husband's like empty protein powder containers that I like fill up halfway when I use my foot bath and I throw these in. So I'm getting like a consistent even amount every time I use it. Uh, I just, I really, am, I don't know if it's just cause these are old cause I'm pretty sure one of our friends got this for us as a wedding present and we have been married for almost eight years. I just, whew, I do not like the way they smell. They're not it's not super pleasant. So I am, I will be happy when these are gone. And like I said, I don't know if it's supposed to smell that way or if it's just because it's so freaking old, but I'm glad I'm only using it on my feet. Let's just put it that way. That This is the other cleansing balm I have in the project. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean. This is the lemon mint one. I've only used it one time because I just finished the other one like two days ago. So I've only got one use on this one, but I have a use on it. So I figured I'd just show it to you. It, I do like the smell of that one a lot, but I really love lemon and citrusy scents. So that's not, that's not a huge surprise. 
Let's see. Th this next one is something I thought it might almost be done for this month, but oh my. But it's not, but I mean, I, and then of course I just shook it up and now oh, it's all bubbly, whatever. But this is, this is a, like a mini, I don't even know how much is in here. It's really plus 30 mils. So this is, it's a 1.01 fluid ounce bottle of the Peach and Lily Wild Dew Treatment Essence. I'm sure the box on this was green. If there's anything in here and like a lot of it is going to be Peach and Lily stuff, not necessarily this update, but just in future updates. If there's anything in here and you're like, what does that have to do with green? It's because it was in a green box. Um, but I'm not I'm not going to save the box for things and show it to you. Like, you can go back to the intro if you don't believe me, but this was in a green box. I I use this morning and night, so that is... I've got 63 uses on it because there were a couple days I might have used it three times if I, like worked out in the middle of the day and took a shower or something but if you can't if the bubbles weren't all there it'd be easier to see but I'm like I'm right down there I I don't even have a week's worth of this left so this will be another empty for next month and I am really enjoying it next I have my Mario Badescu chamomile night cream I did this was brand new when I brought it in or this was brand new in the introduction I did actually take a picture of this just so you can see like the difference because there's really not a way to mark these and I don't I don't do weights if you're new here I don't do weights because that's too much with especially with this project like weighing 50 items no thank you so I've used this I use this every night so well almost every night like sometimes I'm just really tired and I don't I don't do all of my skincare routine but for the most part I use it every night I've got 28 uses on it. I and this is how much I have left. Like you'll s hopefully be able to tell. I let me see. Let me see. Let's just see something. I got my ruler. I uh, I okay. I would estimate I've used about a centimeter of this in those 28 uses. This is a really thick night cream and I literally like because after I do my skincare which it's not like I just you know wash my face and slap this on I have other steps so my face is like fairly well not moisturized but it's it's got the other products on it so it's not like super dry or anything so I literally like just take my finger and like the tiniest scoop is enough for my whole face and because I, I did a little bit too much like the first night because I, I have used this before, but it's been a long time and I forgot like just how thick and moisturizing it is. And I like I had a couple of teeny weeny little breakouts the next day just because like it was too much. So just one tiny little fingertips worth of moisturizer is enough. So that's going to last for a while. Then, oh, that's the, that's the one thing I knew I forgot to bring something I'm not going to go get it because I'm lazy, um, but I have a cuticle balm in peppermint and I've used it one time. So there's really not going to be much to show with that one. Oh my gosh, why? I, even though it's right there, I, just, I don't want to get up. I just want to film this video. So I have the Nest Bamboo and Jasmine Body Mist in for a 50 use goal and I've used it twice. There you go. <laughs> um, the next one is my Glossier Mintbalm.com. This is just a, a minty lip balm. I try to use this at night before I go to bed. This, I have 21 uses on this. I don't have it marked from last time, but if I squeeze the product down um, to about there, like you really don't need a lot. And even though this is only seven mils I and mean, this is going to take me quite a few months of just, I only use it once a day. It's going to take quite a few months to finish that up. But then, and this one surprised me. I have my colored rain lipstick in Queendom, which is what I have on right now. And this was, I think I had used it like once or twice. This was basically a brand new bullet when I brought it in. And my goal, 
I'm taking a page out of Jaylon's book. I'm just going to do a quarter of the bullet because last year the lipstick I had in, well, besides, you know, having five million lip products in the purple project, the lipstick I had in, I had a halfway use goal and I didn't come anywhere close. So I want to use a quarter of it. I have it marked on my sheet and I've only used it four times, but I'm trying to hide the progress on my other stuff that I haven't shown you yet. But I actually was able to make a new mark. Like, so that actually gives me like hope that I will meet my goal on this lipstick in this project. <laughs> but it's, I don't know. It, oh my gosh, can I talk? I always say like, I'm not one to subscribe to like, you have to wear certain colors in certain seasons, but I don't know how much I'm going to use this in the summertime. Like I will still use it probably a couple times a month or something, but I don't think I'm gonna like want to use it every day in the summer because I have got a lot of other like brighter colors that I might want to wear instead. But I still, I'm very, like I said, I'm very hopeful with even seeing that tiny amount of progress after four uses like that I can finish my goal on this. And then I have my e.l.f. Electric Mood Priming Serum. This is like a chartreuse green, which is why I chose it. I do want to finish this one. I ha I didn't weigh it, like I said, and I can't really, I can't see through the bottle. I've used this nine times. I was using this a little more consistently, but I am getting so close to finishing my Becca backlight. Oh my gosh, why can I not? Like, it doesn't matter because they're out of business. But you'd... I've used several of both of her primers, and you'd think I'd remember which one is which by now, but I don't. This is the backlight one, the, like, champagne-y, the champagne-y one. I'm almost, like, I think I can finish that before my next 12 Oldies and Favorites updates, so I've really been focusing on that one, so that I've only got nine uses on this because I stopped using this one to focus on that one, but once that is done, then I will obviously be focusing on this. This was a collab with Tiana Major 9, who I have no idea who that is. I'm old, but I think it was over the summer that this came out. I, I don't know if they still sell it or not, but it's pretty nice. The only thing I will say, I just, these, these droppers, no, I don't like them. Nothing comes out. Oh yeah. Okay. Like it looks like there's so much product in there that that one little drop is all that will come out. It's such a pain in the butt to use the dropper on this stuff. Like, I really hate it. <laughs> the product is nice. I hate the packaging. Then we have my Too Faced Natural Lust Bronzer. This already had pretty significant pan because I've used it in several other projects before. I just have a 50 use on this one as well because even though I have pan, like, brand new, this is 18 grams. Come on, who's ever going to use that up? So this is what it looks like. I've used it six times. I, am I wearing this one today? Yes, I'm wearing this one today. It's nice, especially like you, you swirl them in and it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice color. I, like all these powder products, I did take beginning pictures and then I will just, I'm not gonna take pictures every month. I just took pictures so that after, <laughs> when, <laughs> I hit my goal on it that I can compare what it looked like at zero for the project and what it looks like at 50 for the project because pretty much everything is a, a 50 use goal. So I've got six uses on this, so I'm 44 to go. So that's not too shabby. Then I have this Juvia's Place Serafina blush. Again, I'm wearing this one today. I've used this four times. This is a really good, like, springy, summery blush. So I'll probably get a lot of use out of it in the coming months. Did I say four? Four out of 50. Um, then I have, oh wait, I have this Ofra, this is like an older blush single that I got from Ipsy, like, I don't know, six years ago or something, I don't know. This is in the shade Rendezvous. It, it said it's a blush. I've only used it one time, but I use it as a bronzer. And I think it looked fine as a bronzer, so that's probably how I'm actually going to end up using it, or like what the bronzer kind of thing. But I've only got one use on this one. It's just, I need to remember 
to stop buying individual pans. Well, I didn't, like, technically, yes, I bought this because I got it through Ipsy, but I didn't, like, I didn't buy it, like, I bought, you know, this Sydney Grace blush or this ColourPop blush or whatever because I always forget to reach for them even when I have them sitting in a little palette right with the rest of my, like, makeup that's in projects. I still forget to reach for it, so... Maybe that's a sign that I should not buy single pans of blush like that anymore. Then I have this Marc Jacobs highlighter. Oh, oh my gosh, stay. Then I have, okay. I, it's just so cute, so I don't want to get rid of it, but that is super annoying. Then I have this Marc Jacobs highlighter in B shade Guilty. It's a little dark, but actually I've used it only twice. So, I mean, it's, you can see that it's been used, but all, only barely. So this is twice out of 50. I think when I'm a little more tan, it'll be fine. It is still a little dark for me now, but I am working on the Elf Moonlight Pearls highlighter in my This Is Fantasy project. And like, that's just, that's a very light highlighter in both color and like payoff and intensity. So actually the this last time that I wore this, I put the Moonlight Pearls on top of it and it helped tone down like the deepness of it. So I, I will still wear this probably as a highlighter. Like I have way too many eyeshadows going on to be like, oh, let me bring this in as an eyeshadow. No, that's not going to happen. Then I have this Pixie Blush Duo in Peach Honey. It's, it's like a dual pan, but I kind of just swirl my brush and like mix them together when I use it. This is what I have on as my highlighter today. Again, a 50 use goal on this and I've used it four times. I, I mean, this again is really old. It's something I got in Ipsy. I, there's more wear on the pink side as opposed to like this peachy, more highlighter-y side. What's wrong, babe? What happened to your movie? So, um, can you, I'm almost done, please. What? What, Maddie? Something happened. Okay. I bet she bit, I bet she pushed a button that she wasn't supposed to push. So I'll be right back. Anyway, as I was saying, so even like mixing them together, again, I don't know how deep this is. I'm sure, I'm sure it's not as deep as this packaging would suggest. So it's a possibility that after 50 uses, I might have pan on one of the sides. So that would be... It'll be interesting to see. So I've used that. And then the rest are like, I think all the rest are eyeliners. So I have my JD Glow. This is a, one of their multi-chrome like gel eyeliners. This is in the shade Translade. You can see it's like a green and purple multi-chrome. Again, 50 uses and I've used this twice. This I have to use, not have to. It's been one of those like days weeks, months, years, where there's just very annoying whiny children in the background. It is what it is. Anyway, I real if I really want this to pop, I have to layer it on top of like a black liner. So, but it's it's really pretty and I really like it and I had was it yesterday? I I have a picture of me wearing it. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but I took a picture of my eye look from yesterday because I used my Nomad Paradise Islands palette for the first time for a child of the 80s. And I did like a, a pinky orangey look, but then for my liner, I used this and like, I think it contrasted really well. So I'll throw that picture up if I remember, which I don't know why I wouldn't because I'm going to like edit and post this as soon as <laughs> I'm done filming because that's what I do. So I've got 48 uses left on that one. I need, I need to use that one a little bit more. Then I have this eyeliner from Pixie. It is one of their Endless Silky Eye Pens in Opal Overcoat. I picked it because that is green. Um, I've been mainly, well, not mainly, I've only been using this when I do use it on my lower waterline. So I've used it 18 times. And I have a pretty, I have a pretty decent jump. Whoops. Here, it's this one right here. You can see after 18 uses that this line is, like I measured it to 
where the green part starts. So I don't know if I will actually get use all the way down there because of the sharpener, but that's just where I'm like measuring the length of the pencil to. But that should not be a problem to finish. Then I have this Julep Gel Eye Glider in Emerald Shimmer. It, it's like this dark green. I've only used this one five times, mainly because I would use this a lot. Sometimes I would use it on my lower waterline, but a lot of times I would use a color like this in my upper waterline when I'm wearing like a green look like this. But because I have the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in Spare Time in my Throwback 30, and that ends in July, for the most part when I need a darker green eyeliner, I reach for that one over this one. So that's why this only has five uses, but it did. I did have to sharpen it like I think maybe once or twice. So I've got a little bit of movement on there. And then lastly, this is, we're doing an item swap for this last one. I had this green liquid liner from ColourPop in the shade The Hills. I just don't. This is the color that it is. One, I, it's older and I think it's a little drying out. So I really have to like push to get any color payoff, but two, this is not the color that I wanted this to be. Like I thought this was going to be a forest green. That is not forest green. So I think it was Leah who mentioned something about AOA Studios had a really good brown liquid liner pen because I was looking for a dark brown because I was having the same issue with the brown liner that I currently have. It, it was not dark brown enough. And she said they had really good eyeliner pens. So when I made my order, I bought a brown one, but then I also saw they had this green one. So I bought that to try. This is what I wanted the ColourPop one to be. This is actually the one that I'm wearing on my eyes today. And you can see the difference. It's like night and day. Like this, this is the color that I have been looking for in a green liquid liner. So this one is getting decluttered. I, I did use this twice. Like I... I tried a couple times and I was just like, I just can't with this. So that one's getting decluttered and this one is coming in in its place. I've used this one five times. So I, I have no idea how long these Shop Miss A ones or the AOA Studio ones last. So we'll see. But based on just the five uses, I would definitely repurchase that pen again. So that is my update. I don't know why. My updates, I talk too much. I, I, I just talk too much. So I will try to be less long winded in my next one because holy God. But that is it for my very first update for 50 Shades of Green. A huge thank you again to anyone who has subscribed new or old. I love, I love everybody. I'm very, I'm very lucky to be a part of this community. It's, the best community on the internet, I think. And I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. You're staying safe and sane and healthy. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.